Hello everyone. In this video, we will study about a status of irrigation development of Nepal. And you can simply say uh, history of irrigation development in Nepal. Okay, so this is uh, very important for our final examination. This is repeatedly asked in uh, different exam. So uh, you must see this video. Okay, and uh, before this video, we already discuss about disadvantages of irrigation, uh, different type of irrigation, function of irrigation, and uh, advantages of irrigation. So if you have, if you have not uh, seen those video, please uh, first see those video. I will keep a link in description box. Okay, so you can uh, visit from there. So in this video, uh, we will study about the history of irrigation development in Nepal. Okay, so uh, let's see. Status of irrigation development in Nepal. Before starting the video, please uh, do subscribe the channel and uh, like the video. And press the bell icon so you will get uh, regular update. Okay, and uh, I have uploaded uh, video related to our civil engineering uh, in different uh, subjects okay and uh, different topics related to our e uh, irrigation engineering as well and different numerical solution so you can visit uh, to the channel and see uh, different videos okay and all videos are very um, useful so you can uh, visit to the channel okay and uh, let's see the history of irrigation development in nepal The development of irrigation has a uh, long history in Nepal. Uh, records annals shows uh, the irrigated agriculture was predict, uh, predict in Nepal as uh, during the area of uh, Gautam Buddha. The history of irrigation development in Nepal can be uh, divided into four phases. So uh, basically, um, the irrigation development can be divided into four phases. And on the first one is uh, primary phase, second one is infrastructure phase, and third one is intensive development, and third one is uh, fourth one is integrated development. Okay, so these are the uh, basic four phases of irrigation development in Nepal. So uh, let's see uh, its uh, time period and uh, different uh, example of uh, all types of irrigation development. So first one is primary phase and this is also called uh, prior uh, top uh, land development and uh, this uh, time period uh, before 1956 before the uh, 1956 uh, it um, lies in the primary phase okay and uh, before uh, the 1956 phase is called primary phase because in this phase and the just uh, irrigation development is started in Nepal in different places places okay and uh, second phase is infrastructure development after the primary uh, phase uh, some of the infrastructure are started to developing in this phase okay that's why this is called infrastructure development phase and uh, the range of uh, this phase is time between uh, 1957 to 1970 okay uh, it means simply after the primary phase the infrastructure development are started and that's why uh, the time period of infrastructure development phase is uh, 1957 to 1970 okay and uh, after infrastructure uh, third one is intensive development phase and uh, its time period is uh, 1971 to 1985 okay and uh, after that the intensity development phase integral development uh, phase becomes okay uh, in and uh, the time period of integral development is 19 after the intensive development it means before 1985 uh, this is in intensive development and after that integrated development phase and this starts from 1986 to uh, till you can see here 1986 uh, to the uh, this time so this is the integrated development uh, phase now let's see some example of uh, those different phases development irrigation system so first one is primary phase to uh, 
primary phase and this is also called uh, plant development before 1950 shift as I told here uh, in in uh, primary phase Raj Kulos during uh, Lichvi so uh, Raj Kulos were uh, started to developing uh, in this first primary phase of irrigation development in, in Nepal okay in the Lichvi and uh, Malo dynasty Chandra uh, canal system in 1920 British helps uh, by the help of British government the Chandra canal was developed in 1928 okay and Judha canal is uh, Judha canal in Sarlai district wall was made uh, Jagdishpur irrigation system in uh, Kapil Bastu uh, Paddock irrigation system in Pokhara and uh, with this period uh, covered uh, 6 to to eight uh, hectare simply uh, this all types of uh, different uh, types of these all irrigation uh, development covered uh, nearly uh, 60 to 28 hectares area of the farming okay so this is all about the primary phase of plant development and this is uh, the time period between uh, before the 1956 this is called primary phase of irrigation development in Nepal and after that we have uh, second one is infrastructure development phase uh, the time period of the infrastructure uh, development after the uh, after the primary phase and uh, so it's uh, time period after uh, 1956 and it uh, ranges from 1957 to the 1970 so this is this phase is called infrastructure development phase and in this phase different types of infrastructure are developed okay that's why this phase is called infrastructure development and first second and third uh, five year plan uh, the first year first second and third uh, and five year uh, plan are uh, started uh, in this development stages uh, india usa uh, like uh, Bhairav Mahadev Mukhola, uh, Tika Bhairav Buddha Nilkant irrigation system in Kathmandu Valley. These are started in this phase. Okay, and uh, this that's why this is the in infrastructure development. Uh, Bijaypur irrigation system in Pokhara Valley, uh, Khageri in Chitwan, Tinov in Rupandehi, and Koshi and uh, Ganda candles are started. Uh, in this phase so this is called infrastructure development and uh, in between 1957 to 97 different types of infrastructure are developed in uh, different phases of Nepal so uh, this is the infrastructure development phase and after uh, you can see here after 1970 the phase starts is intensive development of phase that uh, the time period of the intensive development phase is 1971 to 1985 so this phase is called intensive development phase and during fourth fifth and sixth uh, five years plans and after the uh, first second third year uh, plan it uh, lies into the intensive development uh, phase during fourth fifth and uh, sixth five years plan a uh, multilateral donor agencies like uh, world bank and adb came uh, forward for the uh, intensive development of uh, different irrigation system, the uh, different agencies uh, will help for the development of irrigation in Nepal, like World Bank, ADB. Okay, these all are uh, helps to uh, grow intensive development of different irrigation in Nepal. Development of uh, Kankai and uh, Mahakali first project irrigation projects initial of command area development in Narayani zone irrigation system so these are the some example of intensive development phase okay and uh, uh, i already discussed here tika vairab mahadev khola budanil kant irrigation Kathmandu valley bijaypur irrigation system pokhara valley uh, khageri chitwan tinab rupandehi koshi and gandki these are the example of infrastructure development okay and uh, you can see here uh, generally intensive development of hedge uh, it covers nearly 10,000 hectare area okay uh, and alumni groundwater 
मरसावा लिफ्ट एंड हिल इरीगेशन प्रोजेक्ट दिज आर दम एग्जाम्पल ऑफ इंटेंसिटिव डेवलपमेंट फेज एंड द टाइम पीरियड बिटवीन नाइनटीन सेवेंटी वन टू नाइनटीन एटी फाइव इट मीन्स आफ्टर द इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर द इंटेंसिव डेवलपमेंट ऑफ इरीगेशन एज ए स्टार्टेड ओके एंड आफ्टर द इंटेंसिव डेवलपमेंट फेज इंटीग्रेटेड डेवलपमेंट फेज सो इट्स टाइम पीरियड बिटवीन नाइनटीन एटी सिक्स so this is called the integrated development phase of irrigation in the history of nepal uh, from the seventh plan onward uh, as i um, told you infrastructure contains four second and third plan intensity uh, development uh, contains four five and six five year plan but integrated development seventh uh, year plan onward and the example of integrated development is bagmati babai mahakali second सिक्त इरिगेशन प्रोजेक्ट मोर इम्पोर्टेन्स ऑन द फार्मर्स पार्टिसिपेशन इन द कैनल रिहेबिटे रिहेबिटलाइजेशन कम्युनिटी मैनेजमेंट इरिगेशन प्रोजेक्ट ओके एंड इन ओवरऑल द टोटल एग्रीकल्चर लैंड यू कैन सी हि टू टू सिक्स फोर वन सेवेन फोर टू हेक्टर एंड इरिगेबल लैंड वन सेवेन सिक्स फाइव एट फोर जीरो हेक्टर and uh, land with irrigation facilities and the uh, total uh, land provided irrigation facilities uh, is 1227354 hectare uh, year round irrigation is available only in 745445 hectare and the uh, 60% of uh, irrigated area covers uh, year uh, round irrigation is available uh, only in uh, this okay and this is the 60% of uh, total irrigation area and after that farmers manage irrigation system and after the developing different integrated development of, of irrigation the farmers can uh, each manage different irrigation system okay this is called simply fmis and uh, this is around 621663 hectare about 51% of the total uh, area managed by the itself फार्मर्स ओके दोज फार्मर्स हु आर यूटिलाइजिंग दिस इरिगेशन डेवलपमेंट एंड हेज इंक्रीजेज द प्रोडक्शन अफ क्रप्स एंड फार्मिंग ओके सो दे देम सेल्फ मैनेज इरिगेशन सिस्टम सो दिस इज कल्स फार्मर्स मैनेज इरिगेशन सिस्टम एंड सिम्पली एफ एम आई एस सो दिस इज अल अबाउट द इंटिग्रेटेड डेवलपमेंट फेज ओके सो आई होप यू गैज आर अंडरस्टैंड वेल so uh, basically we have discussed uh, in the history and the status of irrigation development in nepal basically uh, four steps first one is primary stage uh, before the 1956 okay before 1956 you can see here and after infrastructure development uh, its period is 1957 to 1970 means after the primary phase infrastructure development is started after that intensive development and uh, this period is 90 after the infrastructure development infrastructure contain 1970 uh, 1970 and after 1970 it uh, start from 1971 to 1985 and after uh, intensive development its uh, integrated development phase started and this is after the intensive development simply uh, this contains 1985 and after the 1985 means uh, with the 1986 to the uh, now date until now uh, its uh, ranges uh, between the integrated development of uh, the de development phase okay so uh, this is the basically four stages of irrigation development in nepal and you can say this is the history of irrigation development and a status of irrigation development in nepal okay so uh, this is also one of the most important topic and uh, this is also repeatedly asked in examination so you must uh you must have to know this all the things and the phases and the uh, time okay time period between the different phase okay so thank you very much see you in next video and in next video we will uh, study about the irrigation projects in nepal okay so thank you very much see you in next video and uh, if you are new to the channel please uh, do subscribe to the channel and like the video and press the bell icon so you will get a uh, regular update thank you very much and i have uploaded different 
uh, numerical related to our irrigation engineering okay and i will keep uh, those video link in description box so you can visit our channel okay uh, uh, and you can also see the different uh, topic uh, related to uh, this chapter okay introduction of irrigation uh, and i will keep uh, all video link in description box okay so thank you very much uh, have a good day see you in next video okay and uh, don't forget to see, see different uh, irrigation projects in nepal in next video so thank you very much see you in next video